Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Morius and I make art tutorials that are fun, easy, and accessible for everyone. Before we get into the video, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, I subscribed, and I'll be sure to get back to each and every one of you. Today we're doing oil pastels. I'm using the Gallery Mungio oil pastels. And I put down a line of tape for my horizon line to start with. And I'm going in and putting in my colors for my sunset. And I'm putting white in between each of the different colors that I'm putting down just to help with the blending. I find that a blending sponge works best or a Q-tip or cotton bud. Um, for blending rather than your finger. Um, I think that in warmer weather, it's easier to blend. Um, it's cold right now, and so the sponge is working just fine for blending and the cotton buds. So I'm going in and I'm layering my colors, and I'm trying to blend the blue and the sun part um, together without having everything turn green and muddy. You can layer on top of one another, um, other colors, which is nice to be able to do. You can put a dark or a light over top. It's just for blending, it does get a little muddy, so you have to be careful. Anything that you wanna keep really light, you want to um, keep that pure from the beginning and not have to go over and try to put a white over a dark area. So I'm just going along and I'm following my reference image, adding in some water, and we're just gonna blend all that together, being mindful that I leave the lighter areas light. And I just keep going in and blending between each different layer of oil pastel. And we're just trying to get a nice smooth transition of colors, because we're gonna put those reeds in front and um, we want all of that lighter water tones to show in between the little um, parts of the reeds so that you get that sparkle of light coming through. So just keep going in and just adding and enriching more colors and trying to get my values correct and trying to get dark enough in the bottom edges. And I'm brightening up the sun, adding in a little more white and blending that in. Keep using my cotton bud. This works really well with the oil pastels. The, the whole trick to this is getting enough material down on the paper to make it easy enough to blend. And obviously the more material you have, the easier and creamier it is to get those tones in. So now I'm gonna go into my clouds and I'm gonna put in some white and then I'm gonna put in some more orange to reflect the sun. And we're putting in a little bit of a gray tone to give us the shadow on the upper part of the cloud to give it more depth. And I'm just making sure to blend in between each layer of oil pastel that I put down. I'm using a craft knife in the middle there because I kind of made my horizon line go a little too far over, but the craft knife can go in and pick out little areas of highlight or whatever you need, um, and it is helpful. So now I'm sketching in my reeds and just trying to give myself a little roadmap of where to put the dark um, colors in to signify the reeds. 
So I found it a little bit difficult to um, get any detail with the oil pastel because it's a little stick. It's, it doesn't really give you a fine point to put in the detail. So I'm going in with like a little makeup brush and I'm trying to blend that out so it's not so uh, cartoony and sketchy looking, um, which did help. But I'm going to find that the easiest way is to use a little bit of solvent on a brush and I go in to the solvent and then I touch the stick with the solvent on a paintbrush and I found it a lot easier to paint in with the oil pastel my, my reeds to try to get a more detailed and finer uh, line. So you see I'm going in with the craft knife and I'm just gonna pick out the little details of the seagrass with the craft knife. And it does a beautiful job just lifting out a little bit of that oil pastel. So you see me going in with the brush now and it's a lot easier to put in those finer reeds and, and fine lines. So I'm dipping in the solvent, I'm going to touching the top of the stick and then just painting them in and so much easier. So you can see where the lighter water, the, the greenish water shows through between those reeds and it really gives a nice realistic effect to have all that bright water showing through. So I have a paper towel under my hand as I'm working on the piece because oil pastels never really dry. They always will stay tacky and sticky and therefore you can smudge them pretty easily if you drag your hand around the paper. So if you just keep a little piece of paper or paper towel under your hand as you're working on certain areas, it will keep you from actually mistakenly blending um, the pastel where you don't want it to smudge. So I'm just going in and I'm just keep adding little reeds, seeing where I'm missing something or where it needs a little something extra. And we're getting toward the end. If you've enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. I really love hearing from you guys, so if you leave me a comment, I promise I get back to each and every one of you. Subscribe to my channel. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm and getting our videos out to a broader audience. So we're just gonna go in and we're gonna just refine everything, clean everything up, and just give it a good once over. And that solvent really worked pretty well with this. Um, it can be really difficult to get a lot of detail. So I would just caution when you're picking your subject matter just to keep that in mind. And you know, if you pick a really detailed um, subject matter, you're gonna have a hard time with the oil pastels because they're really um, tough to get a lot of detail out of. I always tape off the edges of my paintings and because oil is such a messy kind of medium, um, you'll have a really clean edge when you peel that tape off and it'll be really professional looking. Thanks for joining me and happy art.